Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ Tech here. I'm going to show you how to unlock your iPhone 3GS, 3G, your iPhone 4. And um, that's about it on a 4.1 or 4.2.1. So, first thing, um, I need to go over what it covers. So, IO514 is not covered, but there is a way that you have to do to actually get the unlock. So, I'm going to briefly overview since I do not need an unlock. But I am going to show you exactly how to make your custom firmware and how exactly you'll go about doing this. So basically, this firm, this baseband that we're on right now, um, right there, that is not eligible. However, you can update it, which is actually different, but you have to update it to 0615 baseband, which is quite weird, but it does work and you will have to be doing this via Red Snow which has not been released yet or Ponish Tool which I will be showing you with so first thing we do we gotta have your Mac um, if you're using Ponish Tool until um, Red Snow is released um, I'm gonna show you with Ponish Tool so here's the jailbroken iPhone 3GS so let's just go over to the computer Okay guys, now that we are on our computer, we're going to want to open our Ponage Tool um, dot app. So there are download links in the description, so just go to that. You're just going to want to double click it, open it up, and here it is. So we're going to click OK. Then right here, you're going to want to select iPhone, 3G, 3GS, or 4. And this works for all those devices on 4.1, 4.2, or 4.2.1. You're going to want to click this blue arrow right there. So, we're going to just do that. Now it's going to look for your 4.1, 4.2.1, or 4.2 IPSW. Preferably 4.1 because you want to be on 4.1 because it is untethered for the 3GS and the iPhone 4. On the 3G, iPhone 3G, which I'm going to show you right here, it does not matter. So I'm going to click this blue arrow again. And then it's going to ask you, this is very crucial, if you want to update your baseband. And that is very, very, very crucial. So make sure you click yes, because this will update you to the 0.60 um, baseband, which is very, very important and required, is required for your unlock. So click yes. So now it's going to look for the iPad 3.2.2 IPSW which is right here and it already found it so make sure that is green checked and we're going to click blue arrow now it's going to um, ch make a custom IPSW so we're going to click yes and um, yes and then just let that build so I'm going to just pause the recording and come back when it's done okay guys now that it finished building your firmware which is on the desktop currently right here you're going to want to see right here. It has it been pwned before. Um, you can click yes or no, but we're just going to click no. And it's going to put you through the steps of putting your device into DFU mode. So here you go. I'm not actually going to do it because I know Excuse how to me. do it. But here we go. It's going to give you the steps. Please follow this. And that is very crucial. So then it will say successfully identified in DFU mode. So then you're going to close out a ponage tool completely. Then you want to go over to your iTunes on your device. And you're going to want to go over to here. And you're going to want to click Alt Option Restore. Once you do that, of course your device is already in DFU mode going to browse for your custom restore which is right there on my desktop which it currently uh, by default it puts there puts it there so you're going to click that let it restore and um, basically just let that go through and you'll come up to the next part and if you have any errors leave a comment down below and I'll help you out so let's just do that Okay guys, once your device has completely restored, you're going to want to go into Cydia. 
Um, if you had any issues with your restore, please leave a comment down below. Now, if you got 1003, 1015 errors, stuff like that, that is not a um, bad f um, fix. It's You can easily fix it with a iReb or my program, Reboot Me. So, and if you have other errors, leave a comment down below. So you're going to want to open up Cydia, once your device restores. Again, iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4 on 4.1, 4.2, and 4.2.1. But you must have had to restore with that custom firmware that I just showed you with. So you're going to want to make sure everything downloads 100%, all that stuff. And then you want to wait for the reloading data and all that stuff. So let's just wait for that. So same thing, iPhone 4 does work. Here's my iPhone 4. Um, does work on the unlock. I can't actually show you it working, but it does work. It's um, The official developers did develop it. Um, I cannot show you because I have official AT&T sims on both these iPhones. So, sources, you're going to want to go to manage, sources, edit, right here, then add, and you're going to want to type in repo. Let me just type this in, 666.ultrasnow, and this is in the description, dot com. So repo 666.ultrasnow.com. I'm going to click add source, let it all refresh, and um, come back to this video. And you're going to want to click right there. And see right there, there's the Ultra Snow. And here as well it tells you everything that um, works for it. So this is version 1.2 of Ultra Snow. And basically, um, that's it. See, this 0615 is our base bin that we just updated to. That's what you have to have to do. So um, that was how to unlock. You're going to want to click install, confirm, reboot your device, and put in your new SIM card or your old SIM card. And last thing, if you are on, are on T-Mobile or other um, carriers, you're going to want to go to general, then network, and then make sure your enable 3G is off. Because some networks do not have 3G bands similar to the iPhones. So that was how to unlock your phone. If you have any issues, go to the website contact form or you can leave a comment down below. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Mr. AJ's Tech. All this stuff is down in the description. And um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. And I uh, hope this helped all you guys out with iPhone 4s, iPhone 3G, and 3GSs. So I guess I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.